if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you are in the same position that I was about um, six months ago. Um, you're a great coach. You can transform people's bodies. You can get people in great shape. You've potentially got a great product, but you're not quite making the, the money and you're not quite getting the people through the door, the numbers that you, that you want. And you keep going on Facebook and you see a business coach and you click on their link and you look at the testimonials, you look at their product and you get sidetracked with another one. And you, then you might have a conversation with somebody on the telephone about um, their methods and how they're gonna get you lots of leads and earn you lots of money. And then you might buy a little bit here. You might do a bit of research on Facebook marketing and you try all these things and they might have worked for a certain extent. And some of the things that I've tried in the past, like three years, did work and I generated some leads but, and made me a little bit of money doing things off my own back. But I never really had a concrete plan in place, a concrete system that I could count on and um, that I knew 100% was going to kind of drive our business, business forward. Um, so it's probably, it's February the, the 2nd today, it was probably about October time, I came across on, on Facebook um, an advert by Martin um, from Strength and Performance, and I thought, oh, here's another one, let's, let's give it a go. So I joined his Facebook group, like you probably have, and kind of just sat there. And I sat there probably for about a month not doing anything, still consuming lots of information. Um, thinking, oh, is this thing going to help me? I, in that meantime, I think I spent about £300 on, a, on an online program where it was going to give me all the tools I needed to, um, to set up my own marketing, which I started to do and it didn't, I couldn't do it myself, I realised. So then when I was in that group for about a month, Martin dropped me a message, said, what are you doing in here? Do you need any help? And I was like, yeah, I think I might do. Um, I'm actually, at that point, I was looking for someone just to do my marketing for me. Um, and he's like, yeah, we could do that. Let's have a, let's have a call. Um, so I spoke to Martin on the phone. And to be honest, he was the like, third kind of mentor marketing person I spoke to. Um, and we had a conversation. And during that conversation, he basically said to me, he said, why are you doing it? Why don't you just close your gym? I was like, oh, okay. Um, I never really thought about just closing the gym before. He said, well, because you're not making any money. You don't sound like the product that you're offering is what you actually want to offer. So just close it. It's going to cause you a lot more stress, a um, lot less stress than it's causing you at the minute. Just close it and carry on doing what you're doing. Because I was also, at that point, um, working in a full-time job as well. Um, long story short, I was working, we've had this facility for nearly six years and a year and a half ago, I had the opportunity to do something different and I went in a full-time position. So I wasn't even really working in the, in the gym any, anymore. We had a business there which wasn't making any money. So he said, why don't you just close it? I was like, well, okay, that is an option. Um, but no, I don't want to. I actually want to do something. And it was him kind of saying, why don't you close the gym, which really kind of ignited a bit of fire into my belly. Um, just to kind of prove him wrong, really, just to say, no, up oh, yours, we're actually going to do it. Um, hello. Oh, sorry. So I had a little bit of, well, a lot of fire in the belly after Martin telling me basically to, to shut the gym. Um, and I wanted to say, no won't be awesome, we're actually going to make a success of it. So he told me what he was going to offer and I was like, okay, um, I'll have a little think about it. Um, and the next day I rang him back and said, yeah, let's go for it. I, I think I kind of could see where Martin was going and he was quite straight talking and he was, seemed very honest in his approach and his uh, an opinion and he pretty much kind of read the situation really well. So I put my faith into him and we ran a marketing campaign, I think it was November last year, um, where in a space of a week, we generated like 30 new members, um, all paying a little bit more than they current, uh, uh, our existing membership, uh, for just a, a month-long challenge. And we were a CrossFit box um, back then. And that was great. 30 new members came in the space of, week, the, space of the week. The money that we're paying in was worth it. We could, we, we, we could see that where it was going to... Um, um, we could see the return on investment straight away, which was brilliant. And then also, um, 
part of the, the kind of the opportunity that we had, Martin came down and he brought to our gym and brought Sean and Z, um, one of business partners and the owners of uh, Strength and Performance in Stockport. Um, and they spent the day with us, just basically dissecting our business, what we wanted to get out of it, um, what we wanted to do going forward, and just could basically kind of open our eyes to what we could do with this type of business. Because um, myself and my partner, we were, because we've been in this, this industry for like, well, owning the gym for like five years, and we were, I guess, restricting in our, in our mindset. I know it's quite a big buzzword being restricted in your mindset, but we were, stri- we were restricted with what we um, th- thought, what we, we were, were restricted in what we thought we could get in terms of people through the door and the amount and the price point based on our own experience. So they came down and said, yeah, we're doing this in Stockport, we're charging this amount, we've got this constant flow of people coming through. So we kind of sat up and listened to it. At the end of the day, we had a plan of what we were going to do. We're going to take our CrossFit gym, we're going to rebrand it, rename it, go in a different direction. Um, And then a few days later, Martin drops me a a, a bombshell and says, right, we're looking to... um, franchise strength and performance would you like to be the the first ones um so i haven't told martin this and he will obviously know because he's watching this video like we were like jumping around the kitchen um and um but we were playing a bit hardball so it's like we got the opportunity to kind of get into something which we really believed in if we had to hand on heart had a choice when we were at the end of the day that we spent with martin sean and z we would have we were kind of what we'd got in our minds that we where we wanted to go with our business was kind of what they were doing already so when martin came down and said right this is the opportunity for you i was like right let's do it so we had a conversation on the um on the phone with martin about about it and what really sealed it with myself and donna is i could tell in the phone call how um excited and slightly he won't mind me i'm sure he won't mind me saying this slightly nervous that martin was because it was a big deal it's a big deal for him and it was a big deal for us that we were going to potentially launch the s p um franchise and it was a massive deal for everyone on board so if it's a massive deal for everyone on board that means there's going to be a lot of commitment a lot of drive to make us succeed so we knew that martin had got our backs on this. So that's really a massive, it was a massive factor as I wanted to get on board. So this is only November last year. So fast forward like um, a couple of months, it's only February now. So a month later, we rebranded, changed our whole systems using the systems in place that Stranford Performance had already got. So basically with the franchise, they give, they've given us all the behind the scenes um, support in terms of the structure of the training, structure of the um, the marketing, how we introduce people into the sessions, what we do when we're in the sessions. I've been in the fitness industry 15 years, so I do know what I'm doing. Um, but it's so nice to have that support network behind you. And yeah, because we changed, we moved away from CrossFit. We lost pretty much every single CrossFit member. So if you track yourself back to the start of this this video, I was not making an awful lot of money with the CrossFit box. So basically in December, it all went. So we were starting on pretty much zero. So now it's the 2nd of February. So since the advertising went live on Boxing Day, uh, we've generated over 40 new um, members in the S&P Norwich Um, and they're all paying a higher price point than they were um, on our previous system and that's 40 new people all coming in we've got a very slick system in process of getting people on board when they come into the class they're getting like world-class service every single time because we've got that system and that network behind us and I'm actually delivering a product that I 100% believe in um, so much so, I'm doing this really long video um, to let other people know kind of what, it, what it's all about. Um, 
obviously it's very early days and we've only been the S&P franchise for, for like, well, we actually launched on the 8th of January and it's not, so it's less than a month and it's less than like two months since we um, decided to make the, make the switch. But it's, it is early days, but I can s clearly see the system and in place that we've got to generate the leads, generate the new business to keep retaining our members as well in the long term, which I never had before. I never had a clear vision of what was going to happen in my business three months, six months down the line. It was just kind of firefighting. But now we've got a system in place. I know what we're doing in February. I know what we're doing in March. And I can see how it's going to pan out. And for me, um, as a business owner, as having a family, three kids, it just relieves a little bit of that pressure, knowing that you've got the support network behind you. And, f and for me and my partner, Donna, that is massive. We've been doing this all alone for the last nearly six years. And knowing you've got the support of Martin and you've got Z and Sean um, behind you, they're 100% invested in it because it's, if we're successful, they're successful. And if they're successful, we're successful. And it all really works together. And the product they're offering, it's brilliant. It's absolutely awesome. The pe I can guarantee that when you come into the gym, if you were going to come into the gym as a member, you're going to get great results. So if you've got a product that's give giving the members great results, and we've got a, a business which we can see people coming through the door and generating, le generating leads, and they're paying what the training is worth, so they're paying a, paying a higher price point than we were before, everyone's a winner, everyone is a winner. And, and that's why I'm kind of doing this video um, to let you know. So if you are skirting around the internet, um, deciding which fitness person, professional, guru, mentor to go for, might be worth uh, giving Martin a bell um, dropping him a message because he knows what he's talking about. It's not easy work. It's graft. I'm here. I got here at 20 to 6 this morning. I'm going home at half past 8 tonight. This is the early... Uh, this is in the first six, eight weeks, two months, um, putting the work in. Now, it's not easy and there's a lot of time, a lot of investment in terms of um, your heart and your soul. But... The future is bright with, with it. And so, yeah, tap, tap them up, have a chat on the phone, um, and then get on board because it's, it's, it's going to be amazing.